To start the elevations, we're going to create a block of the floor plan. So B for block, give it a name, BP floor plan. Specify a point, I'm going to pick a point, I'm just going to pick a point in the eaves, select the objects, select objects, click on retain and then the floor plan won't become a block. You can always explode it if you forget to pick that. Okay, now I can insert the block I've just created for my first elevation, repeat the command, rotate it 90 degrees for the second elevation, repeat the command 180. Oops. Space bar again, and I'll go minus 90 or 270. So these are the four walls that we're going to project onto our ground line and level lines to create the elevations. Essentially, you can just draw a simple line from the corner of the building. You can run it past the ground line and then you can copy that line from that point to that point. And so on and so forth. You can do that right along for all the elevations. We've established where our walls are located. We can establish the eaves line from the section that we've drawn. So a line from the bottom of the eaves. Okay, and we can copy that, accept it from that point to the bottom of the gutter, to the top of the gutter. And there are the lines that we're going to appear on our elevation. Okay, we can trim the walls to make things life a bit neater. We can trim between this line and this line, accept it them out. Okay, some of the walls will be a bit taller, but for now that's fine. Our eaves lines, we can now project down. It's a little bit less confusing if you do it after having done the wall lines. Again, we're going to copy the eaves points. And we're also going to make a point of where the ridges are. So that particular ridge and that one and the one up the back, I think my line might be a little bit short. I can always just draw another line. Oops. Four up here. And there. I can always just stretch them down. Okay. With my eaves, I can trim to that line because I don't need them beyond that. And I can, or I can use the fillet command. To make those lines a bit neater. Now I'm going to draw a line at 25 degrees. I'll copy it from the section, but I'll just draw a line at this point, shift less than sign, and I have to type in minus 25. I know some students only have to type in 25, and it's going to hit actually the roof continues up continuously to this point here. So um, it does fall back, there's, there's a ridge at this point, so I can mirror this line around this point. Okay. I might just trim out that, that, so I've got that ridge, I don't need that line anymore. And there's a ridge here, so I can mirror this line here about this point. Lines I don't need, and erase other ones. And from here to here, for that ridge behind the drink. No, I actually don't need that one at all, do we? Okay. Um, for the front verges, you actually need to create um, like the fascia board, large board, offset at 180. This side, this side, we might use a fillet command to lighten that up. Okay, and there, because remember, 
overhang is only 50, it's not 450 like the eaves. Now we've got the lines that the walls extend up to, so we're going to extend to these lines, these two walls, and between those two walls you can trim the gutter and fascia board that you don't need. From there you can offset the um, for the ridge capping, 50, this side, this side, and this side, and then neaten it up, trim as required, trim that, and that, and that, so on and so forth. Now, in terms of line weights for the elevations, what's in the front needs to be darker, so as I've got this on the white slash black layer, I'll leave that as a 25.25 line weight. That's fine. This can be a little bit lighter and that will be lighter again. But you'll notice, for example, this particular line is one continuous line. I'm going to break it. So BR will break that line at that point and then just extend it back down. And similarly, this line here, I'm going to break it break that line at that point. Um, and now I can drop these lines into the relevant layers. So I might put those in elevation 18 and these in elevation 9 or a hatch layer, perfectly fine. So I have that hierarchy of line weights, actually might match properties. This yellow, uh, red, make them more red than that. To put the windows in and doors, offset 2100. From the finished floor level above and again you can project lines down from the floor plan to locate the corner of where the doors and windows need to be and you can use the drawing set they've got numbers on them to actually locate you know identify which window and which door goes in which location and for the portico as well and the timber slats okay thank you